Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre. Thank you so much as always to bring love, light, and clarity to you from the divine. So please take these messages that are meant for your highest good and leave the rest which does not resonate. Obviously, we're going to start with our soul truth. I hope everybody had a wonderful Valentine's Day. And even if you don't have a significant other in your life, right, did you show yourself some love? All right, let's see what the soul truth is for today. And then we're going to get into the Akashic Records. All right. Let's stop here. Okay. To whom am I comparing myself right now? Oh my gosh, this is so important. Do you know why? Because this comes from a fear of not moving forward. And this is because maybe you're looking at things where you might come across a little challenge on something, right? And then you see somebody else doing something very similar to yourself and you're like, Gosh, they're doing really great. I like the setup or whatever whatever it is that's going on, right? But there's something that you want to do and you're comparing yourself to another party or situation and that's why you are hesitant to move forward with the confidence that you already have inside you. Does that make sense? So this is why like it's really important for you to be able to see that the the other person or situation is only visible to you because it's instilling in you the courage and bravery to tackle something because if they can do it you can do it right and your gifts are unique to you as is the other party so you don't have to do it identical that's not who you are right that takes away your own uniqueness. So don't compare yourself to others, all right? Shine the light on what you're feeling about this situation by looking at it from a different perspective. What can you do that you can handle right now and work with that, the tools, whatever it is that you have? Do not compare. This is why we're going into the Akashic Records. There's something here that's important for you. This is specifically designed to help you because this is your story and this is the one that you're overcoming, okay? Don't withhold any of your emotions or displeasures because you're recognizing that is this a self-worth issue? right? Is this an insecurity or is this something that I can do and I am comparing myself to somebody who is what you feel greater than yourself, which is not true, okay? All right. Thank you, angels. No, nope. they're asking me to reshuffle. Okay. Thank you, angels, ancestors, and higher beings. For providing Pisces with the wisdom. What do they need to know right now? What do they have already that needs to be pointed out so that they can approach this life boldly? <laughs> there you go. The Queen of Roses. Okay. This is for you to have a loving connection with yourself. Because when you are recognizing your own purity in something, right, you will start to give yourself the tender support. This is important for you because this is going to help you be more deliberate in fulfilling whatever your necessities are, okay? Whether it's a happy home, uh, being just a happy person, so that when you want to take on something, whether it is a new relationship or a project, because I feel, again, we're back into the work relation here, and I'm, I know it's going to come. So this is about you having that heart of love and compassion for yourself. Make yourself look at a, a part of you that is the apple of your eye, right? This is... There's something here about you flourishing. There's, oh, what is it? 
Oh, all right. Let me just keep going. There's something coming in. Seven of Scrolls. I love it. Intricacies and industries. Okay. So if you can see closely here, this is the bricklayer. So, and unfortunately, when I see this individual, he's hard at work because he's building something big, something strong, right? He's building the bridgeway from one set of path to another. And what's happening here is in order for this pathway, this bridge to withstand over time, it needs to be really secure. The only way that can be done is through the brick and mortar. Okay. That is a symbolism for, for you as well. In other words, you can't go from A to Z without the steps in between. Okay, so the intricacies on this card are representation of all the little steps, all the little acts that you do in order to keep building, to propel forward. But the most important part is take it slow, do the time so that it will be long lasting and prosperous in the future. That's what this is talking about. Your intricacies and industry are about the details that make that strong support. Hmm. Stay diligent. Okay. Three of roses. I love it. Loving elementals. Okay. Remember how we talked about being supportive to yourself. The three of roses is taking a loving approach to something. Look at everything through the lens of joy. And that helps, right? So if you are in a stagnant situation or working too hard and need a break, right? Don't keep trying to, to make it happen because you need to step away sometimes. And whether it's a short period of time or a long period, right? If you're really working hard and you've been doing it all week and you need a day, take that day. It's still going to be there tomorrow, okay? And so noting everything that happens in your life is part of the process. And if you're not enjoying the way you're doing it, then it, it will remain a frustrated state of mind. Six of Keys. This is the Encrescent Moon. Do you see this? And I think that's probably almost where we are right now. Um, or at least that's the energy I'm feeling. And this is about the opportunity for growth, right? You see the workshop here on this man working diligently on the brick and mortar of the bridge. This is you working on your artistry, your craft. This is important for you to understand that whatever you're doing is going to bring in that financial increase. As long as you keep the foundation sturdy, then this financial increase will be long lasting, sustainable, right? Over time, this is really an urgent message from spirit to letting you know, witness every part that you take in doing your thing whatever that is for you, okay? Because the hard work definitely pays off. And for some of you, I feel, I don't know, my back is hurting. So it's like, th that's a, a part of aches and pains from the growth, right? Because you're putting in so much work. So whether your brain is tired or you're physically, mentally, whatever, emotionally, that tired or weariness is because you really want this to, to be the right thing for you. And if it is exactly what you want, then take the time to pace it out. The King of Forces. The King of Forces represents a calming influence. Whether you have the good intentions or not in what you're doing, it's important for you to always have that calming influence over 
whatever daily activity you're participating in. That's, that's like acknowledging that it's time to meditate, time to spend outdoors, whatever relaxes you in times of tension. The king of forces represents you accumulating that positive energy through gentleness, not forcefulness. King of keys. Okay. <laughs> the red is love. The red is that you are goal oriented for something that you want to do, what you love for personal fulfillment. Okay. And this is an entrepreneurial card. So this is about you either receiving a major promotion or whatever you're working on, there's a breakthrough, okay? But you see this horse is at a standstill, awaiting the next move, right? We don't progress forward on something until we know that everything is laid in place before going forward. This is either in career or finance. This is some sort of management. Whatever the industry is, wherever you are now and what you're working towards, right? This is about removing all your doubts and nourishing your project by not overdoing it, right? For instance, you bake a cake, you don't keep checking the oven. What are you doing? The cake's gonna be fine, just set the timer. Do what you need to do and let it go. It will rise on its own, it will be delicious, but you have to wait that time span, right? So what do you do in the middle of the baking? Once you pop it in the oven, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna sit there by the oven door looking through. Take the time that is required for you to anticipate the deliciousness of what's to come. I don't know why cake came in because I'm really, I'm, <laughs> that I can actually smell it. <laughs> All right, two forces, the willow. So the willow is that you are strong and flexible. See, the force is about you being flexible and not forcing, not resisting, not being overbearing. There's such a thing as trying too hard, okay? And the willow doesn't because it can stand up to anything. And that's what you are doing. You're going to, when you walk away from something that's frustrating you, you're erasing the burdens that you've placed on yourself. This is, this is really good because you know what? I feel like what Spirit's trying to tell us here is that not only are you building something for your future, abundance, prosperity, right? That fulfillment is going to be included with the fact that you learn something more about yourself, the way you treat yourself, the way you see yourself, right? And how you move through life differently now under all sorts of circumstances. And this is why the willow is showing us that, right? It's about enjoying the, the, the calmness, but also knowing when it's time for power, okay? It's about the belief in yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Archangel Michael, do you see the child here? The child in this card represents you. Again, nine, so important. I love this. So nine days, nine weeks, your birthday on the ninth, whatever it is, there's something about the number nine that is significant that's going to take place in your life. And Archangel Michael is showing you, look at how wide spread his wings are, okay? He is letting you know here that he is protecting you along the way and that you are to not fear anything because whatever is going on, the negativity is going to vanish, right? 
and he is going to help reveal to you what is hidden, just like God does, right? When you sit still and you journal or you pray, right? Take that knee when you need to, and the answers will come to you. But Archangel Michael is letting you know that you are strong, that you are resourceful, to trust your own convictions, take action on what compels you. You're not wrong. When you are taught right and wrong as a child, it's because, you know, the stove is hot. Don't touch it, right? Now you know it's hot. So what's right is not touching the stove. You know right and wrong how to treat people. The right and wrong is the way you talk to yourself and how you take action that's going to support whatever endeavor that lies ahead for you. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael. This is so appreciated because this is about having the strength to keep going, right? Gripping everything that you need to at the time that it is meant for you to take action, okay? Hang on, hang in. Everything is being restored to you. Nurture yourself as well as the project that you are trying to formulate, okay? Lastly, the Four of Roses, views of the ego. That may be something that's getting in the way. They want you to know that when these blessings arrive, you want to avoid any self-centeredness, okay? And this is also about like, I don't know if this is somebody that's coming into your life or if this is a position, a role that you have to take, which is only caring about yourself and not others. And that comes out of my mouth feeling selfish. But what Spirit's trying to ask of you is when it comes to something that you know is right for you, then you have to be selfish and not be worrisome over the whispers that others may <sighs> okay i this is what they want to say you know when you want to do something and then somebody mocks your idea that's when you don't care about the others you care about yourself Okay, so that's the, that's the point of view for this card for the Four of Roses. You will stand tall, just like this gentleman here, as he looks upon the others, hands on his hips, not giving in. Remember, this card in this reading stands for you noticing the importance and value you must place within yourself in order to move ahead in the direction that's going to contribute to your well-being. And the naysayers, that is, look, God's going to take care of that, okay? He wants you to follow your directive. He wants you to choose to march ahead. And in order to do that, your faith has to become your fire. That is your strongest weapon. Be deliberate in your actions to fulfill your own necessities. That doesn't mean you have to get into fights, <laughs> argues, you know, those arguments that, you know, you're not defending yourself. Thank you so much for your, your opinion. Have a nice day, right? That's, that's how they want you to proceed. Don't falter for your own belief. As long as you know it aligns with your heart and your head, that you're in balance when you make those choices. Okay. Gosh, that felt like a lecture. I am... Sometimes they just come out really strong. Let's see, where are we going? 
You know what? We're going to keep it short today because we're going to follow up on Sunday. So let's do an um, animal oracle and see what strength we can pull from this animal. Oh my gosh, my back is really hurting. Are you guys tired? Are you aching out there? Oh, okay, let me get one more. Thank you. <laughs> I like it, the cow. All right, so move on closer towards your paradise, people, okay? This is where you give with unconditional love and grace to others and yourself as you're moving in restoring what was once lost, but it, you are gaining something better, right? And this is about your self-discovery along the way because the cow is about spreading the love, spreading the light, and teaching others as well as ourselves the gratitude for everything that takes place in our life, right? So the cows represent that motherly, giving, nurturing opposition. When you need it, it's time to nurture yourself, right? So the cow is representing for, um, it's like it's time to examine how you can continue to give with care and demonstrate power at the same time. I'm going to let that part sink in because I think it's going to click for you and that works better. All right, Archangel Michael, let's finish off the reading. What advice do you have for Pisces today? If any of you have any doubt whatsoever about what you're doing, Archangel Michael is asking you to stay the course, right? This is about don't panic. Don't panic. That's where the frustration and the worry, that all comes in, right? Be the blaze of fearfulness, okay? Because you're not on the wrong path. You're just having a bumpy start. And that's important to understand because you know mistakes are going to come into your life. Just like others make mistakes, right? So what you're learning from here is these experiences that will help you in the future for something else. And this is why you want to keep going, okay? I'm hearing crossroads. So there may be two opportunities that come up and that you're going to have to make a decision. And I don't know why. I thought I was going to close out the reading, but I'm going to pull one more card before we go. Do not flake out on what you desire, Pisces. This is your life. You get to change it as often as you want. All right. Help me clarify something, angels. On crossroads. Four of Wands. Okay, so the Four of Wands is that there is celebration on one of the paths that you're about to choose. You need to choose the one that's best for you. Okay, the Four of Wands helps you celebrate without resistance. It's time to call in everyone in the universe your guides, your ancestors, your ascended masters, your angels, your God, Jesus, whomever you, I don't want to say worship. I want to say pray to, right? Because we don't want to idolize anything in particular. But it is a significant part of your life now. It is a spiritual journey that you're on, whether you recognize it or not. And all the pieces will fall into place when you invite spirit in to your decision making and also 
when you converse with them, right? With an open heart, it sets the stage for the miracles to unfold. Oh, I like that. I like that very much. So that is the end of the reading. I wish you all a great evening. I am going to do another reading on Sunday. I know I said this before, but just in case, um, if you missed this one or if you need more details on something specific, I want you to leave your comment and this way I will add that to the reading for Sunday. All right, everybody, take care.